video on the New Deal. We watched a video on the election in 1932, and it talked about uh, one of the governors that we had in Louisiana, whose name was Huey Long. I didn't remember Huey Long from the video. Raise your hand. Okay. Huey Long from the video. He was governor of Louisiana in 1928 when he was elected. Then he only served two years, and then he ran for Senate and was elected as a senator in 1930. He was in Washington at the time when President Roosevelt was elected, which was what year? 1932. 1932, very good. So he and President Roosevelt, uh, they shared very similar ideas about how to help the American people. They both felt that the government could play a big role um, in helping people get out of the Depression. And there's an interesting story about Huey Long that I think is interesting. Uh, and it has to do with um, the LSU football team. Okay, LSU football team has a big game this weekend in Alabama. I don't know if y'all do that, uh, but I'll be watching that game tomorrow night. Um, and it has to do with the LSU football team because Huey Long wanted a new stadium for the LSU Tigers when he was governor, or not governor, when he was senator uh, from Louisiana. And because he worked closely with President Roosevelt and they had... Uh, the same ideas about government helping people. He went to President Roosevelt and asked him if the if part of the New Deal money could be used to build a new stadium for LSU. And President Roosevelt said, "No, we're not going to use federal money to buy a, a football stadium." He said, "But if LSU needs new dormitories, then the federal government we could arrange for some New Deal money to be used to build new dormitories." So what Huey Long did was he designed a new football stadium with part of it being dorm rooms. So part of the football stadium at LSU, the north end of the stadium has dorm rooms in it. Nobody lives there anymore, but that kind of gives you this kind of quirky story about Huey Long um, and some of the quirky ways that he, would, he thought that the New Deal money should be used uh, for the people of Louisiana. So as you might have guessed, we're going to be talking about the New Deal today. Let me pull this up. Turn the projector off. Mm -hmm. Our learning goal for today regarding the New Deal is going to be we're going to understand how the New Deal gave hope to suffering Americans during the Depression. We're going to understand how the New Deal gave hope to suffering Americans during the Depression. The way that we're going to do that, I have a think about it question that we're going to go through in just a second. Questions are up here on the board. Uh, you're going to need a textbook, but don't get up right now. Uh, we'll get the textbooks in just a second. Uh, but we're going to look at a cartoon that shows and depicts a mural uh, that was drawn during the time of the New Deal and has a connection with the New Deal. So we're going to talk about that. Then I've got um, some reading for you guys to do from a website uh, called ushistory.org. I thought maybe you would be a little tired of using the textbooks to learn. So uh, Mr. Honeycutt gave me a resource that has some pretty interesting articles on the New Deal uh, from ushistory.org. We're going to use our Chromebooks for that. Uh, then we're going to spend some time, after you read the articles and answer some questions, I'm going to pair you up and you're going to reteach the information that you have learn to a partner. Uh, then I have a review for us on the New Deal, and then we've got a little closure activity as well, okay? So I want you to send one person from each section of tables. Don't everybody get up, just one person. Grab enough textbooks for your table section, and then come back to your seat quietly. in your textbooks. And there's a cartoon on page 675. 
when you're on page 675, you're going to look at that cartoon, just observe some things that stand out to you about it, try to discern and interpret what the meaning might be, and then you're going to answer these three questions. Who is in the picture and what are they doing? What do you think the message of the cartoon is? And explain. I want you to give two reasons. Okay? And then number three, why would this message connect with Americans during the Great Depression or why not? I want you to give your opinion about why this message would or would not uh, connect with Americans during the Great Depression. Let's take five minutes. I want you to analyze the cartoon, draw some conclusions, and then answer these three questions. Ready, set, go.